guys, this is Tao and welcome back to my channel. You probably saw another video with me in this shirt and this makeup and whatnot. I'm actually filming two videos in one day, aren't you super proud of me? Thumbs up if you are. This video is actually about my current favorite makeup items. I did one on skincare. I don't know if it will be up before or after this video. Just to be on the lookout for that video. So this one is the it's gonna be about my favorite makeup. So let's get started. Starting out with skin face base makeup, I guess. Uh, I've been really liking the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Pro Matte. I know I'm like kind of late on the bandwagon, but I got this in 102 Shell Beige. It's a little tiny pink, too pink for my liking, but the color shade, like the depth is you know perfect match and I know I have dry skin this is a pro matte you're like what about cake face towel like don't you like don't you always complain that you have dry skin and everything makes your skin look dry well that's because I add a couple drops of the physicians formula argan wear argan oil mixed with the foundation and I apply with the elf studio flat top powder brush and Together, it creates like the most perfect coverage, lasting power, and texture. It's amazing. I really like this, um, especially when it, well, we're heading into warmer months. I find this to wear incredibly well along with the oil. At first, I was a little skeptical and I was like, okay, well, this was supposed to be matte, but this is oil. Aren't you like messing up the formula? But, I mean, it wears well, and it's still kind of, it's like, it's matte, but it's not flat matte, you know? It, it looks like skin, which I appreciate, so I really like that. For, like, cheek products, I don't, I don't really have, like, a blush that I'm, like, absolutely, oh my god, coming out in love with right now. But, for bronzer and highlighter, I do. So, for bronzer, I'm really liking the Physicians Formula Muru Muru Butter Bronzer. A lot of people really like the scent. I personally am like on the fence. Yes, it smells like suntan lotion, but leaning more on the... So it's like coconut mixed with suntan lotion. But you can really smell like the chemically suntan lotion smell, which I'm not a huge fan of. However, the packaging and the bronzer itself I'm really liking. It's a really light bronzer. It's more of a goldeny bronzer, right there. Now they have two shades. One's bronzer, one's light bronzer. I don't unless you're like super super fair. Go with the bronzer. And if you have darker skin tone, then maybe let's say like Mac. Let's say NC twenty five. I don't think this bronzer will show up on you. It's really light, but. For paler skin tone, this is a great bronzer because it gives you that realistic looking tan. So, really like it. Now for a highlight, oh, I know that, that this sucks because it's limited edition, but this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petal, so amazing. I've been using this every single day since I got it. That's how it looks. It's not like a really light highlight. It's it has more of a like a pinky champagne sheen to it. It's really similar to Mac Soft and Gentle, in my opinion, and it has that like kind of the metallic glow. I really like this. It has a deeper kind of a rose gold shade that's called Crowned My Canopy. This is this is called Precious Petals. Crown My Canopy is a lot warmer. It's more of a blush in my opinion. And I think on um, people with darker skin tone, that would be a great highlight. But it, that is definitely too dark to be a highlight for my skin tone. So it's like a perfect blush color for me. But um, it's a little too metallic for everyday use in my opinion. But this is a great highlight. I have like two backups for this. I really like it. And it was like $4.99. Now for eye makeup, I have two. One is, um, I've been really liking Bobbi Brown's eyeshadow, particularly their mattes. Um, I kind of 
created my own palettes here. Camel is amazing. Amazing. If you want to try like any eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown, give Camel a shot. It's kind of like a warm, kind of like mustardy color. It's so good, especially if you have like brown, if you have like black, black eyes, if you have blue eyes, or like for me, I have brown eyes, and usually it goes from brown to like a darker shade of brown, but this color makes my eyes look almost golden. I don't know how it happens, but it brings out the warmth in my eyes, and I really like that. Um, and this is called a champagne quartz and color wise it reminds me a lot of the um the mega glow precious petal shade because it's that warmer kind of a champagne color really like it toast you guys have seen me feature this in some of my get ready videos because it's just like throw this on and go type shade so this is copper cocoa and this one is burnt sugar and those are metallics little bit goes a really long way they're so smooth and blendable and uh, I just love love them um, they are kind of pricey I think they're like $20 I think for a shadow but you get a lot of bang for your buck you, you get like three two point five two. 2.8 grams of products per shadow, which is double that of a MAC shadow. So, really like this. And my special shout out to Camel. And then another palette I've been really liking is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. One, because of the smell, everyone mentions this, but the smell is divine. Um, and then I really like the warmer shades here. For example, Peanut butter is my red or die, and I really like bonbon as well. And um, I enjoy how they have the matte colors in there. Um, I haven't really touched blueberry swirl that much because it's just like too much, but everything else is really wearable. Um, car caramel is also a great gold shade, but my favorite is definitely peanut butter. I know they actually came out with the peanut butter and jelly palette that I'm really interested in, but it's all metallic shades and I'm not really a huge, huge fan of metallic shades. But that's caramel and that's peanut butter and I really, really like them. So yeah, I heard that uh, Makeup Revolution have some dupes for this, but then I've been hearing really mixed reviews about that. So I'm not sure if I want to try some of them, but I don't know. I think Ulta has the buy one go one 50% off this week. So I might try it, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Most likely not though. And then for lips, I have two products. One is, and I mentioned this in one of my get ready videos. This is the Beauty by the Earth lip balm. Um, I got their gift set where it had like 12 of them in it and it has like one of each scent and like four of the peppermint ones. So the peppermint one smells exactly like Burt's Bees, but the texture is a lot better because I don't know about you guys, but Burt's Bees to me is a little too waxy. It's too hard and I have to like rub it on my lips and then it's like waxy. It just doesn't, never sinks in. This, the formulation is perfect. The one I have right now is green tea. It's really um, light and it tastes kind of sweet. It's it's so good. Um, it has beeswax, coconut oil, castor, sunflower, natural flavor. I don't know what it is, but it's natural. It's, it has coconut oil and stevia, uh, lanolin, aloe extract, uh, rosemary leaf extract. The texture is so so good um, and it's really really inexpensive as well so I highly highly recommend this this is one of my holy grail lip balms I have one in my purse one in my diaper bag one by my nightstand one in like 
my bathroom it's just like I have a stash everywhere and they're really like this and they usually put some of this like when I moisturize my face and like put on my lip balm and moisture and all that like before I do my makeup by the time I get to my lips my um like I can just like blot it off and do the lip products and we're good to go and it really helped when I wear an intense matte color like the L'Oreal uh, collection exclusive called Blake's Red. I mean, I'm a busy mom and let's be honest, I don't rock red lips all day, every day, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue base red. It's so good. I had a um, Instagram, I had a uh, Instagram picture of me just wearing this shade just, you know, in the car and it's, it's so good. It's, it instantly glams you up. And I'm, let me see if I can put some more right now. Excuse the sloppy application and my dogs. The mailman's here and they're going bonkers. So that's Blake's Red. It makes your teeth look really white. And then it's really, it looks like red velvet. It's really nice. I really like this. And I also have Eva's Red and like, I think Laia's Red. I haven't worn those yet because I'm just so in love with this one. And as you can see, I just put that on and instantly it's just like more glammed. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to wear this to, like, all I do is, like, change that person and go to work. I'm not going to wear this to, like, AM meeting because, like, I feel like you can, you have to wear red with confidence. And usually, I have, like, milk stains on my shirt and, like, all that crap. And, like, I don't feel confident. But I went to my friend's birthday dinner and I wore this and I felt fabulous. And, like, there's a time and place for red lips and... Unfortunately for me right now, I'm not going to wear red lips to change diapers is all I'm saying. But this is gorgeous and I'm really, really liking it. I just wish I had more occasion to wear it. But that's... Oh, last thing. And I debated on whether to include this in my skincare or makeup, but I think it's makeup. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Now, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of MAC um, Fix Plus, but that's more like a moisture spray. It doesn't really set your makeup. It just gets rid of the makeup look. This actually set your makeup. Now, granted, it probably has alcohol in it. Yes, it does. Like, for those of you who don't want alcohol in your products, you probably want to stay away. But I really like how it sprays. It's really fine mist, so you don't have like water droplets on your face. It gets rid of the makeup look, it sets your makeup, and your face, like this make this along with the Pro Matte Foundation and the Argan Oil makes my skin look perfect. And um, there are a lot of you who even mentioned on my Instagram picture like, oh, your skin looks good. No, it's because I have a lot of help from makeup. So... Yeah, so those are my favorite products for like, makeup recently, and I mean, I'm constantly trying out new stuff because the shopper in me is refusing to die. It's like, I know you have to buy diapers, but that lipstick though, you know? So um, I'm constantly trying out new stuff. So uh, let me know if you guys like this video, if there are any products that you want me to try out. Oh, and I think I would do one on baby products because Ollie has some favorites and I think that's going to be our next tabs video. It's been a while since we filmed tabs. We're trying to like coordinate a time to do it. Stay tuned for that one. Um, yeah, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!